re-entry, one of the most intricate and demanding phases of any space mission. Central to this challenge is the heat shield system, traditionally dominated by ceramic tiles, known for their reliability and widespread use. However, Elon Musk and SpaceX are redefining this norm by boldly abandoning ceramic tiles in favor of an innovative solution, an unprecedented approach that has the potential to revolutionize space exploration. How can they afford to move away from ceramic tiles? What makes their new solution so robust? And what other groundbreaking advancements are in store? Find out in today's episode of Great SpaceX. After several low-altitude flights, SpaceX unveiled a new development in 2021 with the introduction of Starship Prototype S20, which featured a distinctive black half. This design choice was due to the incorporation of heat-resistant tiles on one side, essential for surviving the intense heat of atmospheric re-entry. This innovation was subsequently adopted in other prototypes, with the exceptions of S26 and S27. The tiles were made of ceramic, a material known for its superior heat resistance compared to most metals, a concept proven effective in earlier spacecraft designs. However, despite several iterations and six test flights, SpaceX's heat shield system still fell short of expectations. Earlier flights revealed a critical issue. Tiles frequently detached and broke upon impact with the ground. In response, SpaceX implemented improvements, but the system continued to struggle during re-entry. The heat shield proved insufficient to protect sensitive components like the flaps, especially during high-stress phases of flight. After the fourth flight, Musk initiated a significant upgrade to the heat shield system. This included enhancing the material and adding an ablative layer, effectively doubling its strength. These upgrades enabled Starship to better withstand re-entry and achieve successful vertical landings in the subsequent two flights. Yet for long-term objectives such as missions to Mars, these advancements alone might not suffice. Musk has consistently emphasized the need for Starship to have a rapidly reusable and fully robust heat shield system. In order to address this, SpaceX began exploring groundbreaking ideas. Instead of merely refining the existing ceramic system, they considered an entirely new approach, metallic tiles. This was an unexpected choice, as metals are rarely used as heat shield materials. More intriguingly, the material under consideration wasn't exotic. It's stainless steel, the same durable and cost-effective material used in Starship's construction. Stainless steel, with its balance of durability and affordability, appeared to be a promising candidate for a heat shield system comprising tens of thousands of small interlocking units. Evidence of this shift emerged during Flight 6, when SpaceX installed over 2,000 ceramic tiles on both sides of the spacecraft. Though the company didn't explicitly state it, this test likely assessed stainless steel's performance under the extreme heat of re-entry. Observations from the flight indicated that while the stainless steel tiles endured, they exhibited discoloration and slight deformation. This suggested that further refinements to the material were necessary before it could replace ceramic tiles entirely. SpaceX's ambitions extend even further, aiming for a heat shield capable of enduring Mars's unique entry conditions. Footage from Flight 6 revealed tests involving intense flames, which appeared to evaluate the limits of a potential new material, possibly metallic. During these trials, the sample material melted and cracked, suggesting that while promising, the current iteration requires significant enhancement. Musk's vision for metallic heat shields includes a sophisticated support system. He has mentioned integrating metallic shielding supplemented by eulich gas or liquid film cooling as a potential solution. This design would incorporate an active cooling mechanism beneath the metallic tiles. Among the cooling agents considered, water is an obvious candidate due to its prevalent use in existing rocket cooling systems. Additionally, methane and nitrogen, already integral to Starship's operations, offer viable alternatives. Liquid methane, the primary fuel for Starship, is particularly suitable due to its low temperature when liquefied. Nitrogen, as an inert gas, 
could provide a protective layer against the intense plasma generated during re-entry. This cooling system would function via a method Musk has described as transpirational heat shields. Essentially, the setup would resemble a sandwich-like structure, with coolant flowing through small perforations in the tiles to dissipate heat. This innovative approach could revolutionize the heat shield's functionality, but it also presents significant engineering challenges. Issues such as the increased mass of metallic tiles and the integration of a complex cooling system must be addressed to make the concept viable. Despite these hurdles, the limitations of ceramic tiles and the potential advantages of metallic alternatives justify SpaceX's pursuit of this bold change. The transition from ceramic to metallic tiles represents a calculated risk aimed at achieving a reusable, resilient heat shield system capable of meeting SpaceX's ambitious goals. As SpaceX continues to iterate on these designs, the question remains, will this shift to metallic tiles prove successful? What are your thoughts? Share them in the comments section down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for ongoing updates on SpaceX's groundbreaking journey. The ceramic heat shield has served as a cornerstone of spacecraft reentry systems for decades, and while it will eventually be replaced, its importance is far from over. At least for the upcoming flights, ceramic tiles remain the standard. This provides SpaceX with an invaluable opportunity to push the limits of these tiles, using increasingly challenging reentry scenarios to test their durability and performance. During these missions, SpaceX plans to complement the ceramic tiles with innovative cooling systems. These systems, once integrated and tested, will mark a critical step forward in the evolution of heat shield technology. If successful, this dual approach will set the stage for a seamless transition to a metallic heat shield system, which promises to revolutionize spacecraft durability and reusability. As of now, SpaceX has produced the Ship 35 prototype, and initial images of the first three V2 prototypes confirm that the ceramic materials remain unchanged. This continuity underscores SpaceX's commitment to perfecting their current system before leaping to the next innovation. It's likely that ceramic tiles will still be in use until the pivotal catch of a Starship, possibly during Flight 8 or Flight 9. However, with Starship projected to fly up to 25 times throughout 2025, we can expect the introduction of the metallic heat shield sooner than many might anticipate. Are you excited about this? You should be. These missions aren't just about testing the heat shield's capabilities, they're also about achieving critical milestones, like catching rocket stages. Flight 7, for instance, is set to feature the ambitious mission of catching Super Heavy and landing the Starship vertically in a controlled manner. If this mission is successful, SpaceX will aim to catch Starship during Flight 8. Preparations for this daring feat are already in full swing, with accelerated work underway at the chopstick system, particularly as Starship transitions to the V2 prototype. Catching Super Heavy during Flight 5 was a monumental achievement, demonstrating SpaceX's unparalleled engineering capabilities. However, catching Starship presents an even greater challenge. Starship endures a longer and harsher journey during re-entry, making it a true test of both the heat shield and the catching mechanism. Much like the evolution of the heat shield, catching Starship is a vital component of SpaceX's vision for rapid and full reusability. Achieving this level of reusability is a foundational step toward replacing the ceramic tiles with the metallic heat shield, which aligns with SpaceX's long-term goals. Even though upcoming flights will still rely on ceramic tiles, they should not be overlooked. These missions are laying the groundwork for one of SpaceX's most important innovations, and that is the metallic heat shield. Each flight provides critical data and insights that will inform this transition, emphasizing the tiles' current importance in driving future advancements. When the time comes, SpaceX will replace ceramic tiles with a more advanced solution, once again proving their willingness to depart from tradition in favor of progress. This forward-thinking approach is reminiscent of the broader contrast between SpaceX and NASA. NASA, once the unrivaled leader in space exploration, has struggled in recent years to maintain its edge. 
While the agency achieved historic milestones such as landing on the moon and constructing the International Space Station, its adherence to traditional methods has hindered progress. Vehicles like the Space Launch System, or SLS, Orion, and the Mobile Launcher has faced significant delays, high costs, and quality concerns. These setbacks have impacted critical programs like Artemis, casting doubt on NASA's ability to lead the next era of space exploration. In contrast, SpaceX thrives on innovation and efficiency. Their Falcon 9 rocket has achieved an unparalleled launch cadence, while Falcon Heavy continues to deliver awe-inspiring performances. The Dragon spacecraft has restored NASA's ability to send astronauts into space independently. And the Starlink satellite constellation has revolutionized global connectivity, providing crucial support during natural disasters and conflicts. Starship, meanwhile, represents the next leap forward with its groundbreaking design and reusability poised to redefine the industry. But what's more important is that SpaceX has embraced reusability as a core principle, setting them apart from NASA and other aerospace organizations. While NASA explored reusability with the Space Shuttle program, SpaceX has elevated the concept to new heights. The once crazy idea of reusing rockets championed by Elon Musk two decades ago has now become the foundation of SpaceX's dominance. With this innovative mindset, SpaceX is not just a private company, but a driving force shaping the future of the U.S. aerospace industry. Their ability to take risks and deliver results has positioned them as leaders in a competitive and rapidly evolving field. The upcoming transition to a metallic heat shield is another example of this bold approach. Departing from a widely accepted solution like ceramic tiles in favor of a novel design carries inherent risks. However, SpaceX's track record of successful innovation provides a strong basis for confidence. Their history of turning ambitious ideas into reality demonstrates that this small yet impactful change could once again reshape the industry. As we turn our attention to the metallic heat shield, it's clear that this isn't just a technical upgrade. It's a symbol of SpaceX's commitment to redefining what's possible in space exploration. From ceramic tiles to metallic shields, each step in this journey underscores the power of innovation and the vision that drives it. Much like how your support has driven us to give you the most up-to-date and engaging news from the aerospace industry. For that, we thank you so much, and as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.